Welcome on into Trade Locker. We are going to be doing a quick tutorial video on how to use, how to execute orders on this platform because there are a lot of prop firms that I've been seeing as of late that have been moving towards Trade Locker. So I figured that it would be a good time to at least make a tutorial video walking you through because one of the prop firms that I use has actually switched over to Trade Locker. So let us cover it. First things first, uh, this is on my desktop. So I am logged into kind of like the web app platform. They have a mobile app, but it's very similar. Like this is very similar from how the mobile app works. And so I figured it's probably better just to make a big fat video versus try to pull up a phone and like have the small screen and all that stuff. Um, it does work great. You can toggle things very easily. So we're gonna show you how that works but this will be kind of a basic tutorial going over what you need to know when it comes to executing orders because the worst thing, and this is this is like, I've done this myself, the worst thing in the world is you have or you open a new account and you don't know how to use it. And so you make a stupid mistake that you didn't have to make. And especially when you're in the prop firm space, if you are using a prop firm and you make a stupid mistake, it could potentially be the difference between hitting draw down and not, you know? So I don't recommend anyone sizing, you know, to the degree of making one trade have the potential to draw you down, but people are going to do it no matter what. So I figured, you know, at least to talk about it. So the charts here, guys, are by trading view. You can see in the bottom left corner. Great. Awesome. If you know me, I love trading view. I use trading view all the time and I'm, I'm happy to have these charts look very similar to TradingView. I can customize things, I can take screenshots. It's very similar. Uh, things are like almost the exact same. I can auto adjust, I can go to log charts. I can do everything that I was doing on my TradingView charts just right here. Now, up in the top right, I have done essentially no customization to this. Up in the top right, I see, you see this option right here. So for the prop from that I'm currently logged in as or on, we have cryptos, energies, we have Forex, we got indexes, we've got some US stocks we can trade and some metals. So we have our list of tradable assets right there. And if you wanted to search for one, you can start typing in, for example, I wanna look up Amazon stock and make sure that I'm in either the all category or the US shares category and type in Amazon. If it's there, it pops up and I can click on Amazon. All right, so I'm gonna bring it back to Bitcoin because that's the current position that I have on, in this account. And what I wanna do is show you kind of like the basics of this. If you have any questions for any further questions, leave them in the comment section below because we can always make more videos if there's more questions or dive deeper, I can answer them in the, in the comment section um, if I know the answer to them or someone else could. So without customizing anything, this is what you have. On the bottom of my screen, you can see that I currently have an open position. There's a position tab, pending orders, closed positions, balances, and trades. So if I jump over to balance, you'll see how my balance has changed over the past couple of days. You can look at the recent trades that I've got in this account when they load up, and you'll also be able to look at closed positions. So for example, like my latest closed position was on the NASDAQ and I made $151 in that trade. Um, no pending orders, but I have one position on Bitcoin currently as of right now. And it will show me my entry price, what the current price is right now. And then my current P&L will be uh, on the screen moving as we, as you can see it moving right here, fluctuating around $4 and change as we speak. So you have also your, your more information on the account here. This is a 25K account, which I'm now currently up to $26,722. Uh, it was previously with DX Trade and then moved over to Trade Locker. I didn't really like DX Trade, And so, because this is technically a fresh Trade Locker account, they adjusted my balance accordingly because I had made money prior to that. And so it, it's kind of cool. You can kind of see how it works and, and, and the basics and across the bottom of your screen. Now you can bring this up. So I can move this up if I want to see more, if I have more positions and whatnot that I want to look at. Uh, I can move that up. I don't really have a lot there. So I'm going to keep it nice and small and I'm never going to have more than like a few positions, maybe two positions open at once ever. Uh, that's just not how I operate. So I can always keep that nice and, and, and small and that works for me. The right-hand side is kind of your watch list and, and all your, your tickers or whatever assets you want to trade. If I want to bring this over, which I might do, I'll move it over a little bit like this. I'm going to move it over a bit more because for the sake of this video, I think it'll be very, very important to do so. Now at the bottom underneath that, you're going to see this. Okay. See how it says, like I have Bitcoin highlighted here across the top, but then see this down here where it has BTC. 
and then you're like, oh, there's some stuff here. Click on the arrow, which will bring that up. Okay, so now you have a bigger, I guess, widget, if you want to call it a widget, to now execute orders. So when I increase that arrow, or I can bring it back down, there's actually a way to kind of quickly get in and out. You can go buy and sell, change your lot size really quickly right here if you wanted to. I think that that's like great and cool. If you're like a day trader too, super quick, easy enough, like you can click on buy and sell, change your lot size and be good. I personally don't like to trade that way. I like to bring this up. I like to make sure I click on the stop loss, click on the take profit. I wanna see all my numbers so that I know exactly what I'm risking, exactly what I'm, I'm looking to target and go from there. Now you'll notice on the screen, which I'll get to in a second, how we can now bring those numbers up or, or drag those things, but I'll get to that next. So in terms of getting in and getting out of a position, if I'm gonna market buy, make sure the market is selected, pretty straightforward. If you click on pending, you're like, oh, what does that mean? And I was confused at this at first because everyone has a different way of, of looking at this, but it's actually really, really simple. Pending orders means if you wanted to put a limit price or you wanted to put a buy stop or you wanted to put a sell stop, simple as that. It's nothing, it's nothing crazy. You don't have to have like, you know, it's not like it has to be super complicated. So for example, if I start increase, if I, if I say I want to get in on Bitcoin, if it breaks above $72,000, well, I'm going to just type in $72,000 right here. Boom. And now I have a pending order that's drafted up there. And then what I'm going to go, and I'm going to, if I click on the buy side, that's going to be a buy stop. So when, once we achieve that, that price, now my order will fill and I'll get put in. I can also set my stop loss and take profit from there and set those numbers accordingly. Okay. Same thing on the, on the sell side. If I want to put a sell, a, a pending sell, it'll work the same way. In this case, it'll be a sell limit. Okay. Because we're not there. So if Bitcoin gets up there, it'll short Bitcoin and that's it. If I go back to buy, it says buy stop at the bottom. So it kind of automatically takes care of the buy stop, uh, the, the sell stop, the, you know, instead of having you to like go in and say, well, what kind of order do I want to put in? Is it a buy stop or is it a limit order or is it a buy limit? Is it a sell limit or is it a sell stop? They, they take care of it and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so if you know how, if you know how to use those orders, um, you're pretty good. If you have any questions about that, we may have some videos on the channel about what those orders mean. Uh, if not, I can make a new video and update a video covering what that means and, and how you can utilize, you know, buy stops and sell stops to, to kind of play breakouts or to play when, you know, if this breaks, then do this, you know, type of situations where, you know, you might want to set the order and, and then walk away and not have to watch it all day. Okay. So let me go back to the market, the market uh, order as kind of like a example. So if I want to market by Bitcoin right now, which is actually pretty close to where my current entry price is. So if I wanted to get in on Bitcoin right now, it's actually very similar to the trade that I'm currently in. Now we have options to set my stop loss. When I click on stop and take profit, I can set this as a price or a tick number, amount of ticks or a PL swing or a percentage of my balance, which is kind of cool. I mean, I like this a lot, at least compared to what I was used to, you know, DX trade and what I was usually, what I was trading on the other, on the, the same platform um, just a few weeks ago. This seems to be much nicer, at least in my opinion. Now I'm personally a type of guy that will go out and I will chart my levels. So I'll use like the trading view tools and I'll say, okay, you know, I'm going to, my stop loss is going to be here. So if that's my stop, I'm looking for a 1.5 to one or, or better. And I move my take profit accordingly. So I kind of know my numbers prior going into the trade. And I, and I always start with my stop loss. So I go in and say, Hey, where's my stop based off the chart? Well, my stop's going to be 60 K. So I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna put 60 K as my stop loss. And this is good. This would be a, a swing trade, by the way, this is, this is like a big wide stop loss for this trade that I'm currently in. So it's not like I'm, uh, you know, sitting here saying this is a day trade. This is, this is, this is, this, is, this could take a long time to play out. Okay. So if based off my current lot size, which is 0.01 point, zero one lots. Uh, now I know that now, if I go to my take profit and I'm going to go to like, let's say 75 K boom, boom, boom. Now it'll tell me that I'm going to make $78 and I'm going to risk 71. That's not the, that's not the, that's better than a one-to-one, -one, but it's not amazing. So I'll then adjust from there or I won't take the trade. If I don't think that the risk reward makes sense in my case, 80 K is roughly where my target is on this trade. So I'm risking about 72 if I were to get in right now to make 128, which is a pretty good risk reward in my opinion. And then of course you can change your lot size from there. Okay. When you click on buy, which I'm not going to do, you will get filled right away because it is a market order. I'm already in, so I don't need to get filled, but you'll click on the buy right here, which is very, you know, right in your face. It's not that difficult to see. And then you will get filled with a market order. Okay. So pretty straightforward with how that works. 
Now, I do want to also show you how you can do it on the chart. So let's say I came in here and I just got rid of my stop loss and take profit. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm not sure what to do. Mark, I, I want to market it on a Bitcoin. I'm going to put a stop. I, I know I want to stop and take profit, but I don't know what the ticks are, the P&L numbers are. I'm just going to look at the chart and see what I want to do. And I'm going to say, okay, well, you know, we had this consolidation right here. I'm going to quickly move my stop loss. I'm going to put my stop loss right here. And then my take profit, I want to look for a break of those all-time highs. So maybe somewhere right up in here uh, is what I'm looking for on my take profit. Look on the left. You'll see on the chart, it's tiny, but I'll zoom in if I can. Negative 85 would be my risk. And then plus 251, my reward. 0.94% of my account would be my gain. And then 0.32% would be my loss of the account. So it gives me a percentage and it gives me a dollar amount right there where it says my take profit and stop loss. And it has it set to draft, meaning this is not an order that's active. If I were to click on buy, this is what my levels are going to be. Now, let's say I enter it. Great. We're in. Uh, I, I'm, I'm in. I don't have to, I'm great. I want to move it. I want to move my order. So see where it says SL and TP. If I click on that, it will pop it open and it will now have an edit my position on the widget we were just using, or I can just adjust it on the chart. So I can drag this on the chart and move it wherever I want to move it. So I'm going to keep it around 80 K, but it's super straightforward and simple to do. Same thing with this one. I can drag this up and down and move it, adjust it on the chart based off where I'm looking to risk on this, on this specific trade. So it works really, it's really, really intuitive. I, I like it a lot. And at the same time, when I did that, I could have just gone in and edited inside of the edit position widget if I wanted to. If I wanted to get like super nitty gritty on the exact price to the cent and whatnot. But I don't really care that much. In this case, it's a big picture swing. A couple cents is not going to be a big deal. At least I hope it's not. It could, but I'm good. So if I don't want to change it, which I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it back to where it was. I click on discard or if I want to confirm that and change it, confirm and it will change your orders. It will add the edits and adjust your take profit and stop if you made any adjustments to it. So I'm gonna click on discard because I don't need to do that. And then on my current position, if I clicked on where my current position is, where it says edit open position, same thing, same thing would happen. But if I click on the X, it would close my position out right now, which is kind of cool. So I can close out right now. Now you may be wondering, what about partially closing the position? This is a big question that I had too, and I wanna get into it because it's important. On the chart, at least I don't know of, as of right now, any way to do that like on the chart. But if you go down to your current positions where it says open positions at the bottom and you scroll across, okay? You've got the copy position ID, you've got the edit position. Then you've got this X in the far right, which is close position, which I don't wanna do that because it's gonna close me out the whole thing. But then there's this button, partial close. Boom, click on that. I currently have 0 0.03 lots but if I wanted to scale out right now and say, you know what? I got it a little too big. I want to get rid of a piece. Boom. I'm going to close out of 0.01 lots and I can minimize my position. Or a hey, Bitcoin's at like 75K and I'm getting a little bit like, mm, I'm not too sure what's going to happen here. Maybe that's not a good idea based off my strategy to start kind of doing things before my ultimate take profits are hitting. But I'm not, you know, everyone has a different strategy. So let's say maybe you have a, a scaling plan and maybe I say, you know what? I'm actually going to move my take profit to 90K and I'm going to take off two thirds of my position at 80K. Once we 80K, I come in here, go to 0.02 lots, click on close. Now I closed out two thirds of my position. I can let the rest of it ride. I might want to move my stop loss up to break even. And now we are cashing in and letting things go. That is great. I, so far, I mean, I have no affiliate. My only affiliation is that I literally use them from the prop firm that I have, like that I'm trading on. But I love it so far. Uh, very intuitive platform, very easy to use. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section down below and we can dive into it or make a future video covering that. But there you have it. That's how you can get in and out of positions on TradeLocker. And we'll see if this Bitcoin trade works out for me. Peace.